Hello my friends and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. In yesterday's video we did spend the day back in Skyhold talking to our friends, doing some more exploration because this place is so big. We also picked up a personal quest for Dorian that I think I do want to do today but there are a couple housekeeping items just to FYI you about beforehand. I did head down to the Undercroft and I was going to create new gear but nothing really seemed super exciting so instead i just retinted a piece of gear that i had that was seriously ugly i did make some um i was gonna say metallic some metal sort of arm sheath things and metal boots to go along with it like the protective upgrades you could do so i did do that and let's see what else did i do i i did visit the war table and try to look at some of the quests like gather resources and coins just to see what they were and that it is what they are. <laughs> I gathered a few resources, gathered some coins. I didn't do all of them, but I did mark them off of the off of the war table board so they don't register as hey do me, so that um, uh, when I go there, I'm not quite as overwhelmed by everything that is still outstanding. And um, I did pick up another codex entry for Varric's book down in the Undercroft. It's like chapter six or something for Harden Hightown, but I haven't found like four or five yet. I don't know. I did also make a change to my throne because I thought the chair would be just a little too dainty for my ginormous self. But this chair also looks really dainty for my ginormous self. I don't know. And it's like a dragon head. I don't, I'm not really feeling it, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And the reason I wanted to change that is because I do want to work on this quest sit in judgment because someone apparently is being held in Skyhold and awaiting judgment. But I can't find them in the prison because no one is down there besides a a single guard. So I figured while we're here, let's do this quest. Then we'll head off to Redcliffe to do a few things that I have potentially planned there. So apparently I need to just sit down and something will happen. Impressive, is it not? Fit for a leader, meant to show influence and the burden of it. It is where the Inquisition will sit in judgment where you will sit in judgment. Mm, and who am I supposed to be judging? Who will I be judging, exactly? <laughs> Those who have done wrong. You will know of them, at the very least. All this presumes they have survived their initial encounter with you, of course. Is this, like... I mean, is this, uh, is this even legal? I'm not part of the Ferelden government, or monarchy. I'm not part of the Orlesian government monarchy. I'm not part of the Chantry. I'm not sure if they're a monarchy, but they're religious infrastructure, really. I mean, basically. So is this even legal? Am I allowed to do these things? I mean, obviously, as a game mechanic, I'm allowed to do it. But I mean, in, in all reality, it, would the Inquisition just be allowed to just make these judgments and no one would bother them? <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's a hole in the sky and they have their own problems, I'm sure, to deal with. But I feel like isn't this going to be a problem eventually? You know, your own kind of government outside of government? Oh, okay, maybe I'm thinking, maybe I'm reading too much into it, but I feel like this would be a problem. <laughs> so my options are a grim responsibility. I kill enough people as it is and will execute people here, question mark. I think that's what she's saying, Theron. But I think I do kill enough people as it is. Do I really need to oversee even more death? I'm nearly at capacity. I share your distaste for more bloodshed, but it needn't come to that. The Inquisition's sovereignty is derived from the allies who validate it. You are both empowered and bound. Justice has many tools. If their application is clever, execution may even seem merciful by comparison. Uh, okay, uh, maybe, I don't know. But I suppose let's begin. Is there anyone I should judge? Take the throne when you're ready. We will bring him before you. All right. So I'll click on the ridiculous throne again. This is not what I, th I mean, I guess I should have. It's like dragon maw and it's like a, the head of a dragon. I don't know. It's, it's so ridiculous, but we're going to go with it. Let's see how I look. Oh, <laughs> you recall Gerion Alexius of Tevinter. Ferelden has given him to us as an acknowledgement of your aid. The formal charges are apostasy, attempted enslavement, and attempted assassination on your own life, no less. 
Tevinter has disowned and stripped him of his rank. You may judge the former magister as you see fit. <laughs> I'm laughing because, no, he still looks like he's falling out of, like, look, he's all crunched up and, uh, I don't know, he just looks so uncomfortable sitting in that throne. I feel like he shouldn't be that uncomfortable. <laughs> So these are grave charges. The apostasy sticks out and it's a long coming. Now these are grave charges. I remember what would have happened to Thedas if his treachery had succeeded. I couldn't save my son. Do you think my fate matters to me? Will you offer nothing more in your defense? You've won nothing. The people you saved, the acclaim you've gathered. You'll lose it all in the storm to come. Okay. Render your judgment, Inquisitor. Hmm. Make him tranquil. <laughs> oh my, that's pretty harsh. I'll execute him myself, imprison him. He'll serve Redcliffe's mages, and I want him researching magic. Hmm. Well, I don't want to make him tranquil. I feel like that's... I, I don't feel like that's in Theron's character. <laughs> Executing him, um, I don't know. I guess maybe imprison him, maybe. He'll serve Redcliffe's mages, but how would he serve them? I doubt they want anything to do with him based on everything he was doing to them. And then researching magic, that's an interesting option. He could maybe figure out stuff for us. I don't, I don't know. So why don't we see if we can get anything out of him researching magic because maybe i'll maybe i slash the inquisition will get something out of it maybe your magic was theoretically impossible alexius i could use people like you mm. your sentence is to serve under guard as a researcher on all things magical for the inquisition okay no execution <sighs> very well Hmm. Not the way I would have phrased it, but we'll see. Judgment the magic used in Redcliffe operation available. Okay. Do I have another prisoner to to judge? I don't understand. No? Now the quest is gone. I don't... Whatever, it's fine. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I do want to do is I want to head to Redcliffe, actually, because there are... Let's see, several quests there that I can do, um, I can find it. So I've got the Last Resort of Good Men quest, which is Dorian's quest, and I've got a couple others that I can turn in. So I think I'll head there, turn those in, do Dorian's quest, and then after that, um, I'll see how much time is left, and we'll go from there. Oh, uh, let's bring Varric. Obviously, let's bring Dorian, and then let's also bring... Iron Bull, because we haven't brought him around in a while. And then when we finish, I'll swap out Dorian for maybe Vivienne. We have brought her around in quite a while. And I want to check out her specialization as well, because I think she's probably Night, Night Enchanter. That's the specialization, right? Let's take a look. Yeah, let's go back here. So there was one of these locked doors that I couldn't open. So let's do that. And I should be on Varric to do it. Oh, look, I'm playing as Varric. It's so little. Okay. Well, they're kind of free. They're not in prison. Trust me, I look, there's nobody in the prison. Okay. What are we getting? Something awesome? Another bottle on the wall. Grey Whiskey Right Wine Conscription Ale, a bottle marked Vintage Warden Steed Joining Joining Juice. <laughs> That's all kinds of my stuff. Oh, Masterwork Ornate Bianca Grip. All right, more more upgrades for Varric's Bianca. Okay, so let's see, we have Flowers for Senna. This was when we went ages ago. We got this quest from the widower who wanted us to go plant flowers or drop off flowers at his wife's grave. And we did that also ages ago, I feel like. The Grey Warden Alistair grew up at Redcliffe. Yes, he, he did. He used to play in the fields outside this very Yeah, he did. Okay, good. She stopped talking. Let's turn in our quest to the widower. I do not suppose you found my Senna's shrine. I know it is a long way to go. 
I did do as you asked. I cleaned Senna's shrine and placed the flowers. May her ashes be gathered by Felon Dean and carried safely. After all the long years she carried me, thank you. You do a foolish old man too much kindness. Thank you, friend. May your Inquisition do as much good for the land as you have done for me. Cole approves and he's not even here. Although he's a rogue, so I suppose he could be here. But yeah, this is tinted clothes. They're not bad. It was the undershirt was originally that yellow plaid kind of look. And I it's not quite the color I wanted, but it's not bad. And my arm arm and hand guards and the feet as well, so it's not too bad. Also, I got more weapons from like the I don't know, the cash down, down in the Undercroft, and Dorian's wearing the mage one. It's kind of ridiculous looking. Although the top kind of looks like that gunk that was on the walls in like the Bizarro World Redcliffe. So there's that. Um, okay, let's go up here and turn in, I think it was the Ballad of Lord Wolsey. That's the one where you had to find the ram you heard about that ran off. It's destroyed, completely gone. Yeah. I heard, child. The mages and Templars are no longer fighting. It's safer to travel now. We should leave. Who's speaking? Because none of your mouths are moving. And none of you look old enough to be a grandmother. But that's fine, I suppose. Hello, one eyed Jimmy. Lord Wolseley came back! <laughs> he says you convinced him. Here, for all your trouble. Great. This red looking ram back there who's trying to escape again. <laughs> I, I don't think we're gonna keep him. Again, Cole approves and he's not even here. Okay, well let me do a hard save I be with you. outside of the tavern. And let's see, the quest was a last resort of good men. We had to bring Dorian to the Gull and Lantern because his father was sending someone to collect him, talk to him, something like that. Uh-oh, nobody's here. This doesn't bode well. Dorian. Father. So the whole story about the family retainer was just, what? A smokescreen? Then you were told. I apologize for the deception, Inquisitor. I never intended for you to be involved. Of course not. Magister Parvis couldn't come to Skyhold and be seen with the Dread Inquisitor. <laughs> what would people think? What is this exactly, Father? Ambush? Kidnapping? A warm family reunion? <sighs> this is how it has always been. Mm, just talk to him. Maybe she. Maybe I should go. He has a right to be angry. I mean, Dorian does have a right to be angry. You tried to trick him, but... I think it'd be best if a son would talk to his father, right? It can't hurt, I hope. You went through all of this to get Dorian here. Talk to him. Yes, father. Talk to me. Let me hear how mystified you are by my anger. Dorian, there's no need to. I prefer the company of men. My father disapproves. I mean, I feel like that's not a surprise. <laughs> the company of men. Really, Theron? Really? <laughs> Why is it an issue? I, I don't feel like asking that one because that's just okay. That's a big concern in Tevinter then? Only if you're trying to live up to an impossible standard. Every Tevinter family is intermarrying to distill the perfect mage, perfect body, perfect mind, the perfect leader. It means every perceived flaw, every aberration is deviant and shameful. It must be hidden. Um, give your father a chance. That's what this is all about. So walk away. Um, uh, I'm going to go with the third one or number three. So that's what all this is about? Who you sleep with? That's not all it's about. Dorian, please, if you'll only listen to me. Why? So you can spout more convenient lies? He taught me to hate blood magic. The resort of the weak mind. 
Those are his words. But what was the first thing you did when your precious heir refused to play pretend for the rest of his life? You tried to change me. Oh. I only wanted what was best for you. You wanted the best for you. Your fucking legacy. Anything for that. Oh, gosh. That's awful. So we can either don't leave it like this. Let's get you out of here. Are we done? Or you didn't let him speak. I mean, we could just leave. And then Dorian doesn't have any resolution with his father. Um, but maybe and what his father did was so awful. I mean, using blood magic to try to change your son to be straight and not gay. That's 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 monstrous. But what if he's sorry? What if he feels bad? What if he wants to make amends? I mean, it doesn't make it okay, but I'm not in Dorian's shoes to make that decision for him. So let's try. Don't leave it like this and see how it all plays out. It's, I mean, we can always leave when it's done, right? He doesn't have to make nice with his father. Don't leave it like this, Dorian. You'll never forgive yourself. Tell me why you came. If I knew, I would drive you to the Inquisition. You didn't. I joined the Inquisition because it's the right thing to do. Once, I had a father who would have known that. Once, I had a son who trusted me. A trust I betrayed. I only wanted to talk to him, to hear his voice again, to ask him to forgive me. He says we're alike. Too much pride. Once I would have been overjoyed to hear him say that. Now I'm not certain. I don't know if I can forgive him. Hmm. Are you all right? Are you all right? No, not really. Thank you for bringing me out there. It wasn't what I expected, but it's something. Maker knows what you must think of me now, after that whole display. <laughs> uh, you're brave, it was entertaining, you're in trouble, all good things. I. I think you're brave and if entertaining. That's horrible. Your trouble really well, might be, but all, all good things about Dorian. I don't think less of you. More if possible. The things you say. I mean it. My father never understood. Living a lie, it festers inside of you like poison. You have to fight for what's in your heart. I agree. I see you enjoy playing with fire, Inquisitor. <laughs> At any rate, time to drink myself into a stupor. It's been that sort of day. Join me sometime, if you've a mind. I don't know what you think you're doing. Oh. I'm being clucked at by a hen, evidently. Don't play the fool with me, young man. If I wanted to play the fool, I could be rather more convinced. Oh, I interrupted your fight? Oh, darn. <laughs> We're just getting into it. Um, but a couple things. That was, I'm really glad I went with that option because it was nice to see. I don't know. I don't think Dorian's dad is a very good person, but maybe he felt bad. And obviously he felt bad and wanted to apologize and attempt to make amends with the son, which I think is something i think that's what dorian said it's something and the models oh my gosh theron is too ginormous he's so large this is gonna be a problem i feel like i almost shouldn't have romanced anyone as a canary because the models are huge but you know what i like dorian he's funny and i need funny right now and mother giselle apparently i feel like is gonna be all judgy so let's see what's going on here oh i what's going on here <laughs> It seems the revered mother is concerned about my undue influence over you. It is just concern. 
Your worship, you must know how this looks. You might need to spell it out, my dear. <laughs> this man is of Tevinto. His presence at your side. The room is alone. What, because he's Tevinter? What's wrong with him being from Tevinter, specifically? <laughs> I'm fully aware that not everyone from the Imperium is the same. How kind of you to notice. Yet still, you bow to the opinion of the masses. The opinion of the masses is based on centuries of evidence. What would you have me tell them? The truth? The truth is I do not know you, and neither do they. Thus, these rumors will continue. No, oh, there's no need to worry. Tell me about these rumors. Uh, we do not serve the Chantry. Uh, well, all of them, but what rumors are going around about Dorian? Oh, I'd like to hear what these rumors are exactly. I could not repeat them, Your Worship. Huh. Repeat them? So you've shared them before. I see. I meant no disrespect, Inquisitor, only to ask after this man's intentions. <laughs> if you feel he is without ulterior motive, then I humbly beg forgiveness of you both. I mean, probably does, but not the way you're thinking. <laughs> Well, that's something. <laughs> Are you all right? I feel like I keep asking him that. She didn't get to you, did she? No. It takes more to get to me than thinly veiled accusations. <laughs> you don't think she'll do anything? Do what? Yours is the good opinion I care about, not hers. Oh. It does make me wonder. Is my influence over you undue? <laughs> Uh, not at all, only in a good way. You don't influence me. Yeah, only in the best way. Perhaps. But it's the kind of undue influence I enjoy. <laughs> no one accused you of being politically astute. <laughs> not today. <laughs> I tease you too much, I know. Your wit is useful, it's deserved. Sometimes, yes. Uh, no, his wit is useful. I like his wit. It's one of his charming attributes. It's helpful when you turn that scathing wit on people other than me. I'll have to find something we can do that doesn't involve teasing. Soon, ideally. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. I started a romance, which leads to me blushing profusely <laughs> behind my screen. Okay, so I don't know why I'm running down the stairs, because I can do it elsewhere. But I do want to go back out to... Not the Storm Coast, not Crestwood. Where is it? The Fallow Meyer. Mir. I always say Meyer. Um, because we're not done out here. We still have to rescue our soldiers. Where are they actually? Oh, they're all the way down here. They're all the way down here. So I am going to fast travel. Let's actually check my inventory before we leave. Um, it's fine. Great. Wonderful. So we are going to go out here and try and rescue our soldiers. I probably am not going to finish it today because I only got like a I don't know, I've got eight minutes left or so. But um, it's going to take some time. Oh, Dorian's card changed. That's different. I wonder if their cards change all the time. That'd be cool. Well, let's bring Cole and Vivian and the Iron Bowl because I feel like Vivian does not like Cole. And I would like to see what she says if he says anything to her. And Cole's no doubt going to weird out Iron Bowl too. But I like Iron Bull and Vivian together. I feel like they're kind of, I can see them getting along, you know? Wow, that zone in was really loud and I need to level everybody up. So I will be right back. Okay, well, Vivian is a Night Enchanter and the skill tree is not very interesting at all. Like, I don't, I don't I grabbed a couple things for her, but I don't, I don't know. I'm just not really keen on them. So I think next time I am back at Skyhold, I will probably get the Rift Mage. A, since I do have it, and also B, um, since I, um, since it just looks more fun to play. <laughs> I'll be honest. Um, Dorian's doesn't look too bad, but um, I don't know. It just doesn't look like it would be as fun for me. So I am actually heading back to a camp because I need to switch out Iron Bull because there are memories of the gray here. So let's get 
Warden Blackwell so I don't have to come back. That's that's the whole goal of these things. Let's not have to come back. I probably will have to come back at some point, but it'll be fine. Why are you here? Do you even understand what's happening in the world? I heal the helpless. Give hope where there is hurt. But you've killed before. Yes, before I knew what I was. Why should we believe you can help now? It hurts too much. I can't be me. Have to be someone who never killed. Help enough and I'm different. I'm not me. Believe it to become it. Maker's balls. We can change. If we wanted enough. Okay. Um, again, his party banter is strange, but interesting. All right, let me level up Blackwell real quick. Blackwell, on the other hand, is very tanky with his specialization. So he could be the he could be the tank for. I, don't, I hope I can switch him and, and Cassandra and Iron Bull in and out, and it not be too terribly different. There's something over this way because I would hate to have to just be restricted to one, like I was with um, Dragon Age Origins for healing for win and also or Anders to a certain extent when Bethany went away because that was it was fine but I feel like it does limit to you a little bit there is a big windmill over here I'm guessing that's what I'm heading towards so let's run through the water hello wraith that's just out here One down. Oop. and then we're going for the corpse too no no stay out of the water Oh, it's fine, whatever. It's okay. Blood Lotus. I think I have enough of those. Oh, is there a rift over here? It's a whole lot of you. Hi. I should probably... Again, I gotta... I'm still not quite used to using the new key bindings. See? And it doesn't help that the Witcher's pause button is also a space bar. Hey, get him, Vivian. Oh, it's a... Oh, it's a pure wisp! I feel like I had to get... a wisp essence for... Way of the Night Enchanter. Well, I don't... No offense, Vivian, I don't want to do that. So... There we go. Okay. Old windmill. Oh, sweet. Landmarks in the mire is done. This sturdy windmill appears old, but well-kept. Great. Wonderful. Is there anything else around here? All these strange... There's the ruins we were at. I don't know how long ago. A while ago. Oh, and loot. Boy, we'll take loot. Is there anything else out here? I wonder. Let's wander the edge and see if there's anything else out here worth gathering or doing before we zone back to the road. I, it's nighttime. It's always nighttime in the Fallon Mirror Mire. And it's always raining, apparently. Um, I'm okay with these things. A lotus and Summerstone. Anything else? Or... Oh, can I get back to the road this way? Oh, it looks like I can't. Wonderful. That was a nice little detour. Well, before I get back to the road, since there's no bad guys around me, this is where I'm going to end things today. Tomorrow, we're going to pick back up right here and try to locate our missing soldiers, uh, rescue them, take care of these memory of their great quests, and then go somewhere else. I don't want to go back to Skyhold right away. I would like to go somewhere else after that if there's time left in tomorrow's video. But that's the plan. Dang, I really love my new 
Vitar, it's very, I find it very intimidating and I really like it. Um, as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Dragon Age Inquisition video.